So we live in a questionable time. The news isn't always the greatest place to go. So I, I figured we'd play a game. Uh, it's not really a game, actually. It's just trying to find something that doesn't make me depressed in the news or horribly divide people or anything else. So um, let's let's see what we can find. We're going to check the BBC. I like the BBC because they tend to imbue some humour. Oh, it can't be reached. Fantastic. That's a good start. news what the hell okay oh i got the website wrong all right here we go let's try to find something funny right well this is a good start isn't it can't even get a rocket into space jeez what about this cyprus to pay for holidays of infected tourists cyprus has pledged to cover the holiday costs of anyone who tests positive for the virus after traveling there all right that's a good deal how many people will try to actually intentionally get infected in order to get their holiday paid for? I guarantee there'll be a few people who will go to Cyprus solely on the basis that they catch corona while they're there and then be like, hey, yo, this is your fault. I want my holiday paid for. Guarantee they'll do that. There's going to be a few. You know, how will they, how will they judge who's bullshitting? How will they judge who went there on purpose? We've got to find a way. What else can we find? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot is funny. Young musician stuck in a German castle for 70 days. Let's try that one. So we've got a Bolivian orchestra that is stuck. Where in Germany? Reisberg, Reis, Reinsberg Palace. Emoted castle, home to generations of German royalty and aristocracy. Hour and a half's drive northwest of Berlin. Not a bad place to be stuck, to be honest. Oh, then again. <laughs> If it's your first time out of your home country, you probably don't want to be stuck anywhere. So that kind of sucks. Our bus broke down on the motorway. I remember joking that this was bad luck and perhaps our concerts would be cancelled. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, buddy. It was, it was going to be way worse than your bus breaking down. Little did you know you were going to be stuck in a 600-year-old palace surrounded by woods home to 23 packs of wolves. Wow. So, essentially... They arrived, their bus broke down, news broke that Berlin imposed a ban on gatherings of a thousand people or more, so they knew it wasn't going to happen. Performances were cancelled, then Bolivia said we're closing our borders, nobody can come in, not even the people who are from here. So they got stuck. There are worse places to be trapped. When I wake up, I watch the sunrise over the forest and the lake. Back home, I only hear the sound of traffic. Well, there's an upside, I guess. There really could be worse places to be stuck than a German palace. I mean, that's that's pretty... That's pretty lucky. If you're going to be stuck anywhere, that's probably it. What else we've got? Nope, 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 nope. US and Canada. There's got to be weird sh going on in North America. We've always got weird sh going on. Hmm. You know, I, I came here. I came here to laugh. I came here for a smile. I came here to find a diamond in the rough, and I don't know if. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Canada tow truck turf wars lead to nearly 200 charges. Police allege competition for control of the towing market has resulted in a scene of violence in the region. Oh, oh, here we go. Rival companies resorted to murder and arson as they sought control of Toronto's towing market. Tow truck companies would hire fake drivers to stage accidents on roads and in parking lots. No, come on, this is a show. This is a TV show, not real life. No, come on. Supposed to just be towing cars. Oh my god, can you imagine? Can you imagine the programming? AMC, pick this up. HBO, pick this up. Sit back, The Wire. Sit back, Breaking Bad. In greater Toronto area, towing truck companies are where it's at. Rival companies were allegedly fighting over not just the profits of towing vehicles, but subsequent insurance frauds. Illicit income, territory wars, 30 arson attacks, multiple drivers have been shot at or killed. Absolute crime spree. Happened last summer. They've had nearly 200 charges as a result. They worked with complicit auto repair shops, car and truck rental companies, and physiotherapy clinics. It's like a whole ring. Who's the Walter White? There's got to be a Walter White in charge of all of this, right? There's a kingpin. Not even a Walter White. What's his name? Gus Fring. There's got to be a Gus Fring. You know what? I'm going to have to come back to this. Police expect more rest to fall in the coming months. They've called on governments to pass regulation for the towing industries. It was so bad, they've now got to regulate towing. You know there's going to be a TV series out of this. 
give it some time. Give it some time. You know, 15, 20 years down the line, somebody goes, you know what? There was some really weird shit that went on in the towing industry. We could make a series out of that. And everybody will be going online to be like, is this real? Yes. Yes, it was. The great Canada tow truck turf war of, I guess, 2019 it was. That was real. That was a real thing. And it will bring so much joy as it has to me today. <laughs> Can't make it up. All right, let's head to entertainment and arts. See if there's anything bizarre that people are doing. Nope, nothing funny here. That's for damn sure. Oh God. When front page level shit ends up in entertainment and arts, that's when you know you're in a dark time. Ooh. Chrissy Teigen's removing her breast implants. Yes, that's definitely news. I definitely needed to know that. Why? Oh God, why Why make an article out of that? I mean, it's a perfectly fine thing to tweet, but why, why make an article out of it? It's not exactly a slow news day. I don't know, to encourage others to remove their implants if they want to? I, I suppose that could be a benefit, somehow. I'm, I'm looking for the bright side, okay? Don't judge. All the music and fun is cancelled. Rolling surprises fans with political fairy tale. It's a children's story. It's a children's story that's a political fairy tale. We should just be able to, you know, have a, have a fairy tale without political implications. That would be nice. Published in installments, let's see. Okay, that's, that's creative. I think it's fun, especially if you're JK Rowling and you're a... God, how much money does she have? Is it billions? Probably. No, it's, it's probably in the millions. I'll, I'll have to check that. And you, you know, you don't have to worry about your bills, you don't have to worry about your rent. You can just cr be creative, write some stories, publish them daily on your website, know that millions of people are gonna come and check them out. Turn a prize, Axe for 2020. What the fuck is that image? What the fuck is that? Oh God, thank God it was axed. This was nominated last year. This, this right here was nominated last year. Most high profile award in British art almost went to this. You must be joking. I, that looks like something I would have made in elementary school as an art project that would have then been relegated to a box in the garage far away from where it could hurt people. You know, BBC, <laughs> BBC sometimes puts up images that, you know, are technically accurate and representative of what's going on, but clearly have been chosen because somebody finds it funny and somebody wonders if other people will pick up on it. I'm, I'm wondering if they're actually better than this. Don't tell me, don't tell me this man's work was nominated for the l largest high profile award in British art and this this face here is the best of his work. Like this guy in the foreground that they've blurred out actually looks all right. He could look a bit Muppety, you know, kind of cute. But this, this is, oh, cannot be unseen. Let's see, what's his name? Oscar Murillo. His other work can't possibly be that bad. Oh, oh no, they are that bad. Oh no, they are weird. Oh God, why? Holy shit. I'm so sorry I've brought that upon us. Oh, okay, well. Money's going to better things, I guess. That's uh, that's a win. How about the UK? Anything anything weird back home? It's all too serious. It's all far too serious. Yeah. Well, I think I think we're good. You know, let's um, let's venture to my local. There's always some weird stuff going on here. Do we have anything good? Hmm. Is the My Pillow guy the future of the Republican Party? The My Pillow guy being the future of anything is questionable. Why would he be the future of anything except his own My Pillow thing? Oh god, this guy freaks me out. He's really weird. Oh, I see. It's an opinion saying he may play a role. He's a former crack addict, retired card counter with history of bad debts, near death experiences, and soured marriages before fully accepting God into his heart. And now he's worth a fortune. You can do anything. Wow. Such a past might be a liability for someone thinking about moving into a life of politics. I'm sorry, what what year is it? I I, I think I think we're past that. We're in a we're in a, a post liability age now. If anything, that'll be a plus for him anyway. I'm not sure I want the my pillow guy making legislative decisions on my behalf, but you know, anything can happen. <laughs> I love I love how some headlines are written. A's billionaire owner says minor leaguers will no longer be paid, like he's supposed to shell out of his own pocket, like, hey buddy, we know, we know what you've got. You better be sharing, and he's not. Everybody's anxious and depressed. Housing is expensive. What? Surgeon. 
tinnitus when the ringing won't stop do this? And apparently the answer is to put a bottle of baby oil with the cap on to your ear. Good, I'm glad I'm glad they, they solved this vague fucking headline in the image. That's that, now I don't have to click on it. I'll just next time I have tinnitus, I will just put a bottle of baby oil to my ear. That's the cure. Yeah, well, that's it, I think, on the news front today. Um, what can I say? We found some gems. We found some good stuff. The Canada tow truck thing, I think I'm, I'm going to have to investigate more. That, that's, that's just a thing of beauty. That is, that sounds like it's got a million subplots going on. If it's not a ne Netflix special by 2035, I will be very upset. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Anyway, um, until the next slog of news. Let me know what your favourite news nugget was, and um, for the sake of a small intermission in the middle of the catastrophic abyss we currently live in, please share any gems you find so we can collectively remember what levity is like for a second. Even when the good fights are being fought, a laugh a day keeps imminent mental health collapse away. Cheers. <laughs>